bro, you're on body camera fantasizing about it. Hello? Justified for a noise justified on a noise complaint, to be honest. Dude, you are out of your mind. Was it a noise complaint? Seems like a proportionate response. For a noise complaint, you think like beating the shit out of people and like pepper balling them is is valid? The fuck do you think is going on, dude? This is Officer Ashlyn Plough, and she just punched this black woman in the face. What's worse is that this is a pattern for her, and she's well known to use excessive force on people of color. Up to this point, she and her department have gone unpunished, but there are countless cases of racist officers who forget they're being recorded, like when a cop repeatedly shouts slurs at an innocent black man. For being but first, let's look at a cop who did something so racist, it got him fined. I mean, dude, a cop getting fined for being racist is like Wemby getting fined for blocking too much, okay? This is their job. So I don't really understand how the fuck that happens. Like, what do you mean? They don't even get fucking desk duty for, they get promoted for killing people, which is, I feel like, the most racist thing you can do. It doesn't make sense. $100,000 and fired from the police force. Yeah, the other cops were like, <laughs> bro was too good at his job. The other cops and the fucking, the other cops were like jealous of how racist, his racism powers were too high. They were like, dude, come on, cut it out. Save some for the rest of us, dude. You are literally inventing new slurs that we did not know existed. Nerf this man. Entirely. Hey, I'm black as out here. That's what the issue is. Yeah. The incident happened in San Diego when he approached Amari Johnson for smoking in a non-smoking area. The only problem, Johnson didn't have a lighter, cigarette, or vape on him. Even if he was smoking, do you think that warranted this treatment? I mean, to be fair, when I see that mustache, when I see that fucking fade, and that mustache, it's Jover, okay? Like, I am 100% profiling that dude, and and immediately, immediately, that, that's a racist guy. What did you grab me for, bro? I already told you it's coming one straight. One. You look Sit goofy down. as hell, bro. Stop Sit touching down. me, bro. Obviously, yeah, nobody's going nowhere. Smack. Hey, 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 what I tell you? Sit I down. told you I'm waiting for somebody to come here. Okay. They right here, bro. Sit down. Oh, oh my God, you're tough yeah, as I up. Just, hey, you tough as Stop. Hey, we don't care. Stop. Bro, bro, you goofy as hell, bro. Hey, Mr. Dadges, you making a big ass deal out of nothing, bro. You're the one that you making a big ass deal out of nothing. To be fair, if I saw somebody wearing a Toon Squad jersey of LeBron, I would probably have a similar reaction. Like, I, I obviously. I, like, I probably would have a similar reaction. I'd be like, what are you doing? Like, are you okay? Are you. Are you, you, you seem to be in, like, a, like a di stressful situation. Like, are you experiencing mental distress? Because as much as a fucking LeBron dick rider, I am, I am Le Dick Rider. As you guys know, the one area where I do not ride that dick is, you know, he was just, I mean, that movie was, was terrible. Brody. Wow, seems Hassan took his reasonable meds today. No, I've consistently told you that Space Jam 2 is fucking ass cheeks. Me and my 32-year-old, like, 10-year best friend, Christopher motherfucking DeFalco, sat our old asses down. He's literally a finance guy, like an adult, okay? We sat our old asses down, two La Dick Riders, side by side. We both love LeBron, and we could not fucking get through this movie. I know it's for children, but I thought my own personal love for this man would let me watch this show, watch this movie. No. And honestly, again, we are both two adults who dick ride LeBron endlessly. That's how we arrived at the conclusion that we should sit our asses down and watch Space Jam 2 to begin with. His acting is really bad. Have you seen the first one? Of course. What do you mean? It was like age appropriate when I was a child. It was made for me, basically. Are you real big though, huh? Dude, hey, you real big. You're the one that just hey, you real big. Sit down. Hey, you real tough. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I have no reason to be detained by you. The first one's also dog shit? No, it's not, dude. What the fuck? Maybe because I was a kid, but... It was not dog shit. Huh? Sit down. Bro, stop. Stay seated. Stay 
on the ground. Bro. What am I doing? <laughs> Y'all are funny as hell, bro. This is funny as hell, bro. Hey, oh. hey. <laughs> hey let's study. That's hey, fine, dude. At, 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 you've already, put, my, you've already put your hands on me. Bro, I didn't put nothing on you, bro. It's on camera, so you can check okay. me. Bro, y'all are okay. hella goofy, bro. I'm talking to you, and you smack me. Bro, nobody Whoa. smacked you, bro. Why <laughs> I smack you? You did it? <laughs> you smacked me. Cops, cops just assume. Like, he, cops are... I, In my mind, I believe he genuinely believes that. He's so racist that he thinks, like, being... In the presence of a cop, as a black person, you're automatically being physically violent. Why smack you? Stages claims that this treatment was because Johnson slapped his hand away, a moment not clearly caught on his body cam. What the f bro? Do y'all know what's going on? I just got here, man. This fool is in the f***ing wrong. He tried to come up on him like he's not doing shit. He's waiting for me to get back from the store, right? When I come back, instead of him just apologizing... Oh, for the record, if you're in San Diego or Orange County... As a black person, you should have a, a, a white guy uh, vouch for you, 100%. This is not even a joke. This literally used to happen to me and one of my very good friends, Tomei. We would go to fucking bars, okay? I've talked about this story before. We would go to bars in Orange County, and they would literally fucking not let him in. They would literally not let him in. He'd have a hat on. They'd be like, oh, you can't come in with the hat. And it's like, I have a hat on. You just let me in. He's with me. What the fuck? Yeah. It's not even, it's like a joke how fucking openly racist they are. Straight up. Dress code only allowed. Dress code is only enforced on black people. Straight up. Unless that black person is a designated white guy who will get mad as fuck. I hate how Huntington Beach is so bad with it, and I'm from there. Yeah, 100%. And it's kind of weird. What are you doing in OC in the first place? Ghetto-ass place? <laughs> I mean, we, we, we need to... We were looking for a change of scenery. But yeah, a lot of Orange County places are like that. It's very, very weird. Aren't they all liberals? <laughs> Fuck no. Dude, Orange County is not liberal at all dude it is not even remotely liberal you're crazy that's where all the fucking freaks are that's where all the anti-vaxxer rallies are and shit is conservative as hell and so is, is parts of san diego too you got clanty santi also known as clanty literally a hotbed for clan activity i mean it's yeah orange K -K 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 county is right And being like, oh, you're right, I get it. Yeah. He tries to grab. Yeah, non Californians thinking it's all libs out here is so funny because, like, California has more Republican voters than, like, multiple red states combined. Okay. There are 4 million Republican voters, which means there's probably a lot more people who are conservative that don't even fucking vote. Okay. 4 million Republican voters in the motherfucking state. Okay. That's like four Republican states worth of Republicans. Do you understand? It's just washed away by how much, uh, like how, how big our big cities are. And when you live in a big city, you oftentimes, uh, you know, move out, move on from that kind of reactionary thinking. The less segregated the areas you live in are, like, the more you're around, you know, black and brown people, the less you are likely to vote Republican. Straight up. That's all it is. It's, it's kind of that simple. It, it seems so stupid, but it really is that. Grab him and choke him and put him on the thing. Obviously, the, my friend is going to put his hands back. This fool's in the wrong, and he could just say that and let it go. And instead, he's trying to... I don't know what the f you're trying to do. just trying to figure out what's going on, man. Bro, he's being a whole lot of f bro. Oh, God, and you know you're f wrong, bro. This guy would be an awful lot more helpful if he wasn't so aggressive, but he's exactly right. Johnson was simply waiting for him to arrive in this spot when he was approached by Dages and was exhibiting no suspicious behavior whatsoever. But in the conversation that followed, he accidentally reveals the true reason for this stop. He looked at my name like 30 minutes ago, bro. Why am I still here? 
I don't got nothing on me. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm being a citizen. So you know what I'm saying? That's that's why I'm, that's why I'm frustrated. It's not a sale. I'm sitting outside for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You really don't get it though. You don't get it. It's, it's cool. I'm, I feel like I understand you're being empathetic, and I, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get it, bro. I already know what it is. Hey, I'm black and out here. That's what the issue is. Yeah. Dage is agreeing to this almost seems like a joke. Even if this was I mean, he's being sarcastic, but he got got. You know what I mean? Especially because you are doing that for that reason, so you don't have the opportunity. Like you don't you don't get to be sarcastic in that moment because you are literally doing the racist thing. Okay? You can't be like doing a hate crime in the process of being like, yeah, sure. Sure, I'm doing a hate crime because you're black. It's like, well, you are doing it. As a sarcastic comment, it speaks volumes that this is something he feels comfortable joking about. If the cops let it go at this point, all might have been forgiven. Johnson was understanding and the female officer was polite, but they just decides he's not finished and moves. Yeah, especially with these vibes, okay? If you're looking like Andrew Schultz out here and you're not on a diverse podcast with a diverse set of hosts, okay? You're just, you know, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't look like a bomber pilot from World War II as a cop wearing, he, he also has like the Under Armour on too, like, and it's like fucking 80 degrees out there in San Diego. Like he's just, he, his vibes are abysmal. Okay. The only person who's allowed to do that is Andrew Schultz. And the only reason why he gets away with it is because. He has a Jewish co-host, he has an Indian co-host, and he has a black co-host on the podcast. If it was four white guys, you'd be like, this is fucked up. Is this a Gavin McGinnis show? Like, what the fuck's going on here? That's it. You look like you put on a racism uniform on your face with this. He's in to arrest him. So listen to me. You're being placed under arrest for 241C, okay? Yep. All right. What's the 241C? Assault on a peace officer. Assault on an officer. Assault. Hey. Okay. Bet. Bet. Hey. Come on. Hey. Bro, hey. you are a whole ass bitch, bro. Hey. Oh, hey. God. Oh, hey. <laughs> you are a whole ass bitch, bro. On oh, God. See? He had, the, he had the white backup, too. But unfortunately, the white backup came too late. This is like... This should be a service offered to... Offer to uh, to black people like a like a white buddy service, you know what I mean? In in areas like this. <laughs> hey, call Jerry. Hey, call Jerry. Hey, Nick, call Jerry. Fucking five cops, dude. I insane. For <laughs> being black while sitting on the sidewalk. <laughs> you're a bro. You a straight bitch, bro. Yeah. Hey, uh, you except for I, you're the one that hit me. Bro, I didn't hit you, bro. You started grabbing me, bro. I told you to stop touching me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Assault a police officer. You know it's on film, right? How far you think this is gonna go? I hope you don't shoot me in this back of his car or some shit. Cause you guys are f corrupt officers. You're for sure a corrupt as f Cause I'm not Pound in the back of the yeah. car in the first place. Zages searches Johnson, then sits him in the back of his patrol car before taking him away to be charged. He also allegedly lied on his police report, saying that he observed Johnson smoking and that he took a fighting stance when he was approached. But Johnson wouldn't stand for this and decided to sue the city of La Mesa and Dages himself, citing excessive yeah. force and wrongful arrest. Hell Around yeah. A yeah, look at this bitch, by the way, shaving his fucking city of La Mesa look, and look, Dages himself. Look at this bitch shaving his mustache. Okay. Yeah, you think you're slick, dude. You think your ass is slick, dude. Oh yeah, we didn't catch your we didn't catch you on camera looking like that. He's like, hey guys, that was a different guy who he was a much more racist looking guy. Self citing excessive force and wrongful arrest. Around a month into the lawsuit, La Mesa agreed to pay a sum of one hundred twenty five thousand dollars to Johnson. None of this money would come out of Dage's pocket, but he was swiftly fired from the La Mesa Police Department just two years after he joined. Ashlyn Pluff, however, punched a black woman in <laughs> Folks, these guy these police departments are getting too woke. How did that guy have that much clarity of mind while being detained by a fucking ugly bitch power tripping cop? Incredible. I mean, he's probably not his first rodeo. Let's be real. So, yeah. And of course, he probably got rehired for the record. You know, guys like that, guys like that have, uh, there, there's plenty of use for him in, uh, in the force somewhere else.
in the face and her entire police department were just as bad and were all caught clearly on camera. You know, before there were buy cameras, like this thing, you know, like oh, yeah. empty this tank. <laughs> Ashland's police department were dispatched to a house party in Toledo, Ohio. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. We got Ohio. Oh, oh, man. Here we go. One of my favorite places to mention randomly. Toledo, Ohio. Of course, dude. Of course. That's shocking. So shocking. It's like so expected. Like the top of the hour ad break at the top of the fucking hour. You know what I'm saying? Three minutes of ads. It's coming. You should expect it. Now, of course, you can prepare against it. Uh, Toledo, Ohio, don't know if a white buddy works in this circumstance. Let's be real. The racism game has been elevated. Okay? They, they, got, they, got, newer, they got newer levels of racism, a higher tier of racism out there. Okay? Like, we're talking not even Cleveland. Okay? You're cooked. You're so cooked at that point. Yeah. New, new racism difficulty. White buddy will not save you in this situation. Okay, will not. Uh, Winter Rose 96, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Let's go. The racist mustache cop went on TV to claim that the left is after him. Well, May of 2020, video of the arrest of a black at your home. Talk to me about what happened at your home. Oh, God. Fucking, I don't even want to watch. It's going to make my blood boil. I hate this shit. There's a three minute break now, by the way. No. Guests at the house weren't causing a disturbance and you. they didn't seem violent or rowdy whatsoever. So when the cops decided to move in to arrest them seemingly at random, it raised serious alarm bells. Hey, who lives here? Who's the owner I can talk to? Who lives here? This ain't got nothing to do with us. I'm asking who lives here. You do? Yeah. All right. Arrest him, 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 and them too. Right. Hey, okay. you can't go in my house. Watch out. Don't touch Yo. me. Don't touch me. I ain't even doing nothing to you. What is the reason you Why you pushing me off the court? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't stay back. Don't stay back. Failure to disperse. Failure to disperse, everybody. The cop tells them that they're getting charges of failure to disperse. And in the state of Ohio, this charge can only be given out when the suspect's presence creates a high likelihood of physical harm or public inconvenience. In this scenario, the cop is clearly just looking for a way to get the guests in cuffs. All right, let's just sit here in the back of cars. Why? Okay, I'll explain to you. I stood here and I told everybody to go in the house. You didn't tell Listen, me. You didn't are you going to let me explain or are you going to talk sir. over me? I stood here. I told everybody in here either go in the house or, or leave. After I said that, nobody moved. I said you're going to jail if you don't move. Nobody moved. The precise reason that nobody moved might be difficult for this cop to comprehend, but it's actually because he never asked anyone to go inside the house. He simply asked who lived there and then started arresting people. It should also be noted that if this call was for public disturbance, the commotion has increased dramatically since the police arrived, and it almost seems like they're the ones that caused it. But if you think the cops are about to stop there, you're dead wrong as this officer decides to take out his weapon to threaten the residents. Guys, let's go! Are you... Is that a paintball gun? Time to move! Let's go! Who else wants to go to jail? Because they're about to go. Go! Go! Why don't you listen and just go home? I don't have patience. People go to jail when I'm around. You know, before there was buy cameras, I wonder how many stars would just light this thing up, like, oh, yeah. empty this tank. Bro, you're on body camera fantasizing about it. Hello? Justified for a noise, justified on a noise complaint, to be honest? Dude, you are out of your mind. Was it a noise complaint? Seems like a proportionate response. For a noise complaint, you think like beating the shit out of people and like pepper balling them is, is valid? The fuck do you think is going on, dude? You think it's a fucking riot? You think it's January 6th? These snarky remarks from the cop are frankly terrifying as he's essentially admitting he'd open fire on everyone here if he had the opportunity. He's drunk on power and he's not the only one. Ashlyn Pluff is also on the scene doing exactly the same thing, only her story ends in an even more violent manner. You're not walking back up to that house, turn back around. Sarcasm, what the fuck? Oh, dude, well put a fucking slash S on here, man. Jesus Christ, how am I supposed to know you're being sarcastic? Go! Hell no! Get the f out of here! 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 Get the f
Chatter, stop baiting. I already ran the top of the hour. Ab break. Hey, no, you can't test. I can take your ass to jail. I don't give a f. Failure to disperse. Get the f out now. Go. Tensions are clearly extremely high right now. However, what makes the following footage even crazier is that the girl we're about to meet is professional boxer O'Shea Jones, an Olympic-level athlete who should be respected and admired for her talents. But instead, she was assaulted, plain and simple. Back up! Go! All right, I want to interrupt this real quick. I want to interrupt this real quick to tell you something very funny. Um, the latest Schizzarella post. Okay, as always, Schizzarella goes into the fucking sh uh, shop and just cooks up the the absolute worst. Can we? Can you? Can you show me the XUC Schizzarella pose real quick? Uh, can Can a chatter pull it up? I can't find it right now. I'm asking for his back. Okay, uh, Greek might not have been banned. I don't know. You can't do that to her I think he was banned for a little bit, but he's back. What is wrong with y'all? You can't do that to her phone. Back off. Okay, give me her phone. No. Okay, that's her phone, so yes. she's got to keep it. Right, I'm gonna get my phone. No, you're not giving your phone to anyone. I'm breaking my wrist. I'm gonna... Then stop I'm moving. Hey, you angry. Hey, Calm hey. down. You angry. Stop she's twisting. angry. All I'm saying is she's squeezing my hand. Quit twisting. Quit turning. Will you quit moving? Stop cussing at me. She just hit me. Y'all just see that? I know. She just hit me. Just, just Toledo, Ohio activities, dude. Straight up on body camera, too. I am. I asked for your badge number. Oh, mine? You were talking about mine? It's 355. There's no way to justify this attack. O'Shea was surrounded by officers and restrained, and Ashlyn punched her for no reason other than anger and hatred. However, unlike the officer from before, it seems that Ashlyn had completely failed to consider the fact that every cop here was equipped with a body cam, and she was in plain view of all of them. But in a tragic twist of fate, prosecutors found this use of force to be justified. They posit- Wow. Wow. Guys. Guys shocked let me tell you how shocked i am that when the police were policing their damn selves they found out that the police were simply policing in a situation where they definitely policed a little too hard It that O'Shea was resisting arrest and the punch was a compliance technique. Instead, she was verbally reprimanded for her use of profanity in the incident, but received no criminal charges. But there's no better example of racism than yelling racial slurs at a suspect, and that's what Officer Tim Garcia was caught doing. Yeah, it's called a compliance technique when you fucking punch someone in the back of the head, which is illegal in the UFC, by the way. Like, illegal in boxing, illegal move in the UFC... It's it's like directly you're you're basically creating a situation where you you could kill someone or concuss them instantly. Okay. By the way, O'Shea Jones won bronze medal in the last Olympics, yet she got treated like this. That is crazy. Doing on July 14th, 2018. The suspect, Dwayne Robinson, was allegedly getting aggressive and confrontational with mall patrons using vulgar language and threatening them. After Robinson was asked to leave, he complied, but the guards continued to follow him and eventually detained him. They were like, you understand? I said, look, man, I, look, I went like that. I said, look, y'all already told me what it was. I was like, I'm already walking up. Okay. So I, I tried to go back that way. I was like, I thought there was an exit. And they grabbed my bag. I said, look, man, don't grab my bag like that. Yeah. All they had to tell me was like, look, sir, there's not an exit over here. Yeah. And it was like, all right, we want you to exit the mall. I was like, look, man, I'm not about to exit the mall, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, look, I want the cops to come here to let y'all know the dumb y'all doing. Yeah. But look, I ain't even did nothing. 
To recap, Robinson has basically said that he was confused why security asked him to leave, but he complied until they started to get physical with him. He then asked them to alert police to try and work everything out. But as it turns out, this would be a huge mistake. The cop would soon turn out to be not just rude, but derogatory and insulting. Now, my, my question to you is, if they, they tell you to leave the ball, are you going to leave the ball? No, I don't want to. That's okay, why I well, you. I understand you don't want to, but if they tell you, are you going to leave the ball? I'm asking for what? Okay, they don't have to tell you. If they don't want you here, you're not here, okay? That makes no sense. Okay, here's the deal. Now you're going to get argumentative with me. They won't put you in jail. I'll put you in jail. So, we cool on that? Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. You have your ID? Let me just get your information. I'm going to get their information. All right, and then so, we'll all right, be up. Y'all take my information. So, like, they tell me they want to give me for criminal trespass. Yeah, they might give you a criminal trespass. Look, I ain't even did. Cops are so funny in the way that they just, like, try to justify being annoyed with, like, legalese. And they just don't know anything about the law. So they'll just, like, make it up on the spot. They'll be like, uh, sir. Uh, you might, if you keep this up, you might get under arrest for being a nuisance in, uh, being a nuisance to a law enforcement officer, actually, in plain clothes. And it's like, you just made that up. Like, you, not, not a single part of the things that you just brought up is, like, the law, okay? Being annoying to a cop is not illegal. You know what I mean? Why y'all give me trimming the touch pads? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, you're under arrest for being a silly goose. <laughs> yeah, uh, Matt's here, by the way. What you mean, bro? What you mean they can't? Yeah. No, nah, hold up. What you mean nope. they You're under arrest for being a meanie bobini, sir, to me, and, and hurting my feelings like my wife did, my bitch-ass wife, Deborah, ex-wife. 